You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? She is queen head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone. Cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan had a fame when he glimpsed the sand as such. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and the order of the Erdry and the fate of the moon were conjoined. This miracle blesses the Church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, 
to its rightful state of harmony. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights.
little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure.
Queen of Caria, Renala of the Full Moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth.
Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out from whence ye hide. There are books and light aplenty. Dither not. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones? To be better born anew. Is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg? Be not alarmed, nor afeard. I would birth thee as a sweeting, fair and fine. 